Good morning, everybody. It is, once again, Ted the Speed Learner, and we're going to be talking about ratios today. And I talked about them last night. You'll see that in the video before this one. Um, but we're going to talk about something very special today. It's about commensurable numbers. Now, what are commensurable numbers? Well, specifically, these are commensurable ratios, okay? And what we're going to talk about is... Let's say you have a one inch line, and then let, let's say that that is a one inch line. Then, then we can say that's a two inch line and this is a three inch line. Well, both of these lines can be measured by this one. So these two lines are commensurable because they can be measured by this. Okay? You know, if you take this one inch line, you can measure this and you can find out this is two inches. You can take this one inch line, you can measure this and you find out it's three inches. Okay? Now, the same thing is with the foot and the yard. You can have a ratio of 12 to 36. And this ratio of 12 to 36 is true and it's commensurable because of the one inch line. Okay? There are 12 inches in a foot and there are 36 inches to a yard. So you have one inch that can measure the 12 inch foot line and, you, and the same one inch can measure the 36 inches which is the yard. And the metric system is designed exactly the same way. The metric system you could use the uh, millimeter to measure the centimeters and you could also use the millimeter to measure the meters. I don't know why you would use millimeters to measure meters but you can do that. And all that's commensurable. Alright, so if you have two numbers and they can be measured by a third, it's commensurable. If not, it's incommensurable. Okay? Uh, for instance, if you had the ratio of the square root of 2 and the square root of 3, that's incommensurable because there is no unit that can measure that both of those at the same time. Okay. Then you can also have something called a continued ratio. Okay? And a continued ratio is like A to B as B to C. So you can, you can compare a ratio of 1 to 2 to a ratio of 2 to 3. And that's just a continued ratio. And I will explain more about this in my next video. So I want you to stay tuned because it's going to get more exciting from here.